Uh, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, even the fish people are marginally less stabby today. Nothing could ruin today. Welcome to Black Phantom Deeps. Located inside of the ancient Temple of the Moon that was ruined when the magical dinner plate nuked the world. The Edgelords of Azeroth have since then banded together to form the Twilight's Hammer Cult, worshipping Cthulhu's favorite lizard by bringing him human sacrifices. No, no. To put a stop to this, the Argent Dawn are sending an elite squad in to take out the cult and rescue their missing members. Let me introduce you to the team. The talent is made up of the Loot Goblin Hunter, the Stoic Warrior, the Sussy Paladin, the Stinky Bear, and the Giga Chad that rerolled Warrior. The squad quickly clears out the first two bosses, without any major issues. The healing seems a bit low to um, non-existent, but oh well. It also kind of feels like they're forgetting something, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Moving deeper into the tunnels, the squad teaches the overgrown frog that dual wielding versus same level targets is a horrible idea before swiftly moving towards the inner temple area. On the way, a BOE drops, and everyone greed rolls. But then, the paladin gets an idea. What if he presses need? Sure, I mean, he doesn't need the gold for like his mount or anything, and it's not an upgrade for him either, but maybe they won't even notice him rolling need and he just gets away with some gold. He is immediately called out on his bullshit by the entire party, and he apologizes swiftly and says he thought, well, everyone rolls need on BOEs. Goes for a reroll, and um, yeah, the hunter gets it, of course. Plowing through the final path to the inner temple, the stinky bear asks the group where the underwater boss is, because he doesn't know where it is. The paladin instantly replies that he does, and jumps in the water to show the way. What you are about to see next is something not even Asmongold himself could have predicted. From nowhere, the hunter pulls the boss. The tank then tries to grab aggro, but the paladin takes aggro instead. His health bar starts going down and he starts panic healing himself, which only gives him more aggro. His health bar goes under 50%, but then the beast is slain and all is well. Or so they thought, but the paladin's health doesn't stop decreasing. It only goes down and down, and with his final breath he exclaims, Oh my god, what did I just do? Before he drowns. You see, he was never actually tanking, he just forgot to grab air. After la- I mean mourning the paladin, the party is faced with what to do. Give up and leave, or continue the hardest part of the dungeon, now without their healer. But after looking at the logs for the previous bosses, um, they decide that there's probably no real difference without the paladin here, and continue to go on. The group then goes on to take down Reverse Steve Irwin and lights four candles for their fallen comrade. Coincidentally, this also opens the door to the lizard's terrarium. In the end, the great Akumai, or big lizard as I prefer to call him, goes down, taking less lives than the party took on its own. <laughs> and the survivors of the party leave to fight another day. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like, comment and subscribe.